The dynamic crosstalk of signal transduction cascades is a subject of great interest to biologists. At the molecular level, there have been questions about how specificity amongst MAP kinases is determined. In this study, Lim and co-workers demonstrate how the scaffolding of kinase proteins directs phosphorylation amongst a set of kinases. We are accustomed to seeing diagrams that describe a cascade of interactions involving MAP kinases such as ERK. This classic view of MAP kinase cascades generally leaves out the fact that they are often accompanied by scaffolds. These scaffolds employ protein-protein interactions to recruit a particular set of MAP kinases into a complex. In this diagram, we see three MAP kinases, ST11, ST7, and FUSE3, being joined together by the scaffold protein ST5. In so doing, the flow of information is directed through a particular set of kinases and doesn't rely simply on the substrate specificity of protein-protein interactions. This paper focuses on alpha factor signal transduction, which is involved in mating. Here the kinases are scaffolded by ST5 as drawn. With this cascade, signaling with alpha factor results in activation of the kinases and expression of a P-fuse 1 promoter driving GFP. The study demonstrates that the scaffold controls the flow of information amongst the kinases by making chimeras of two cascades present in yeast. Yeast respond to alpha factor with mating response and to high osmolarity with an osmo response. The authors show that they can change the responses to these inputs by adding different scaffolds. Addition of the native scaffold, ST5 or PBS2, results in the normal responses. But if they add a chimeric diverter scaffold, they get cells that respond to alpha factor with an osmo response.